Right. Accept the ELV, I will provide more jobs. That's said to be coming from the president. 344.5 billion loans taken. You have not provided more jobs. Is it the ELV that is disproportionately? That's a margin of what we owe already that is going to help you provide more jobs. If you want to provide more jobs, you will provide more jobs. I don't want to talk about the private jet. There's one particular comment that is, yeah, here we go. This gentleman says that we as a government will pass the E-Levy. Nobody can do anything about it. These are uprising causing statements. These are statements that trigger military action. What is his name? As though the government is on its own. The government is the representation of the people. So if the people are resentful towards a certain attempt to introduce certain systems, it is good enough to go back to the drawing table and reconsider what other options we have, especially with the trend that we are having in the sub-region. We've got to be careful. We love our fourth republic and we want it to continue. But with the things I'm hearing are political leaders. Some of them are even MPs. It's disheartening. It's worrying. We as a government will pass E-Levy and nobody can do anything about it. Oh. Oh, you, you. <laughs> and which, which, who is this? Uh, is it a... Enyaso or so, I'm not sure about this word. Enyaso MP. What's his name? Member of Parliament for Nyaso in the Ashanti region, Stephen Amor, Stephen Amor, has said the e levy which has been vehemently opposed by the minority. No, it is not being opposed by the minority only. Ghanaians are opposing it. Don't deceive yourself. It's not a minority thing. Ghanaians are opposing it. So if you think it's just NDC that is opposing it, you better rethink. Mr. Whatever the name is. Mr. S uh, uh, Honorable MP Stephen Amwa. It is not just the minority. Ghanaians are opposing it. Opposed by minority in parliament will be passed and the minority can do nothing about it. Yes, the minority can do nothing about it. In Guinea, the minority couldn't do anything about the president changing the constitution to have a third term. But the military did. In Burkina Faso, the minority could not do anything about not equipping the, the, the soldiers to fight terrorism in their country. But the two soldiers were able to do it. So when you begin to make these kind of statements, these are the statements that destabilize a country. And therefore, our political leaders have to become careful, especially some of these arrogant MPs. 